Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 28th of June where I just take one of our signals from the Wave5 Trade Scanners membership and set it up on a chart for you. So in our members area, just remind everybody, our members get potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and 60 minute time frame every day short fifth wave trades on the same time frame stochastic longs and stochastic short trades i'm going to concentrate on short trades again today for the fifth wave fifth wave is the highest probability move in a trend our members click in here click on the image and download the spreadsheet each day today's spreadsheet looks something like this there are still some potential shorts out there uh, on the daily time frame and on the 60 minute and on the weekly, quite a lot on the weekly setting up now, some longer term short setting up, probably look at the, one of those next week. Um, <clears throat> for now, I'm just going to concentrate on the daily time frame and set up one of these for a potential trade short. So I'm looking at LBRDK. Now that's a mouthful, isn't it? So um, first of all, for those members that have got our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, this is the Ninja Trader NT8 version. We also have it available for Think or Swim, Trade Station, and Multi Charts. We're isolating the bar count here around about the 2nd of February this year from these highs. And then our automated Elliott Wave count kicks in, and we have the Wave 1, the 2, the 3, and the Wave 4. And the Wave 4 is part of that filtration system in our Stocks Signals membership. We have three main filters. The first one, is that we've had a pullback against the main trend, this fourth wave. The fourth wave is measured. Uh, it's pulled back into our automated probability zones. Here you can see it's found resistance in the green zone. That means potentially it's got an 85% 80, probability it's going to go on and make a new wave low into our automated target zones down here around about $65. If this resistance level holds, and comes back down. So the next filter is the 535 oscillators you can see down here uh, and that's pulled back between 90 and 140%. Very close but it's just done it, it's still in there. And then the stochastic has pulled back against the the main bearish trend there and we have a crossover in the overbought zone. So we're all looking for this to come back down into the main trend. We had a good uh, red candle yesterday really strong full candle bearish engulfing there good sign we just need to set this up now potentially and still get a conservative order on there so the stop loss is above the wave four high there so we've got around about a, uh, a 78.50 stop loss the entry is 73.95 so we are way outside of the 6.4 moving average low we use this as a start point uh, on our indicator suite for uh, the short, the, the 6.4 moving average low in the red here. This is our starting point for a short entry. But I've also made it a little bit more conservative. I want to go below the whole $74 mark and below this particular type of uh, support here and obviously above these higher support levels as well. So 73.95 short entry for LBRDK target around about $65 so we've got a, a risk reward there of one to two while still remaining very conservative on the entry strategy there so it looks very good um, this downward pressure in the markets if it continues we've got to get on board uh, with with uh, some good strong short trades to counter the longs that we've got on at the moment so that's it for today have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow